Let me say that Adrian Granados is is not like a lot of the guys that you guys complain about, or even so, he's not like a lot of these fighters that you guys hype up. Let's take a guy like we'll take a guy like Adrian Broner for example, right? Adrian Broner, you know, no, no disrespect to the man, but Adrian Broner, go look at his resume. You know, he beat nothing but cans coming up. Gavin Reese's of the world, the uh, Vincente Escobedos of the world. Uh, he struggled with Paul Malinaji, got a gift decision in that fight in the eyes of many people. Um, you know, then when he went up and fought Maidana, got got destroyed, got torched in that fight. Um, you know, the best win of his career, if we're being honest, uh, I mean, what, Emmanuel Taylor, Khabib al Diev, I mean, nothing really impressive. I mean, lost, lost to Sean Porter when Sean Porter was at a disadvantage and came down in the catchweight fight, fought the lightest weight of his career. Fought really scared of Sean Porter. I mean, let's just be honest. Adrian Granados, much like Sean Porter, has a very aggressive come forward style. And we saw how cautious AB was against Sean Porter. Now, fighting a guy like Broner, who wouldn't be weight drained, whose body is settled in at the weight, who is coming off of the biggest win of his career against a very, very high, uh, once highly touted prospect in the Miriam Mom, where he just completely destroyed and obliterated him. You don't think that guys know that? You don't think that a guy like Broner knows that a guy like Granados would be too hard for him? You know, I, I think I think I think Granados would give hell, Broner hell. I think he beats him honestly, because um, Broner's fundamentals have really declined. If you go watch the Theo Fane fight, he's throwing a lot of punches off balance. Um, wasn't really sharp in that fight, and hasn't really been very sharp in quite some time due to him just not being focused in the gym. So I think that'd be a good fight for Granados. He deserves a fight against a big name fighter. I mean. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, before I get into this video, happy basketball season. We got the NBA in full effect starting tonight with the, all the games on ESPN. My Hornets will be back in action tomorrow, so shout out to the Hornets. Hopefully, they have a great year. But um, in this video right here, I wanted to speak on a fight that was just announced, you know, and I'll be getting to. Uh, Showtime and all the fights they made uh, later on today, but the one fight that I want to talk about more so than any one of the other fights that got made today uh, was the fight for February 11th, which is my 22nd birthday, aka B Taylor Day. Uh, there was a fight on February 11th scheduled on Showtime uh, between Adrian the Problem Broner and Adrian El Tigre Granados. Now. I don't know if, if Al Heyman and Showtime and folks watch True School, True School Sports, but I just did a video less than a month ago, like within the last, I'm pretty sure I put it out this month, in this calendar month, saying that uh, either Terrence Crawford or Adrian Broner should fight Adrian Granados, and lo and behold, we have Adrian Broner versus Adrian Granados. Now, I've done videos, about, I did a video about that, I have also have interviewed Adrian Granados where he's talked about the sparring sessions with uh, Adrian Broner, you can check that out. But let me t let me just say this. Let me just say this because I want to put everything into context. Now, on paper, this is a very good fight. You know, Adrian Broner uh, is a, still a talented fighter, whether you think he's overrated or not. Still a talented fighter. Adrian Granados is an underrated, very talented fighter. As far as you know, upset he pulled over your mom last year. His resume, the guy he's fought: Brad Solomon, Felix Diaz, Leonardo Tyner, Frankie Gomez. Uh, and, a, and a whole host of other guys. Uh, just he's fought really good competition. Nobody's ever really convincingly beat him. And I wanted to say it like this. I wanted to say it like this. Adrian Broner for Adrian Broner. There probably isn't a worse like as far as style matchup. Not just style matchup, but like um, just in terms of the type of person who's coming to the ring. There is probably not a worse matchup for him out there. There's, this, 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 is probably, this is going to be a very tough matchup for him because when we talk about Adrian Granados, we're, talk, we're talking about a guy who ha wasn't spoon-fed like a lot of you fighters out here today. He really had to prove that he was the goods, and over time he has done that, and he has earned this fight. And not just that, when we talk about Adrian Granados, we're talking about a guy at 140 pounds. You know, he's pushing, he's 5'9", 74, with a 74-inch reach. You know, Adrian Broner... I believe he's a bit shorter than Granados. Broner's pushing it probably about like, uh, let's see, Broner's pushing five six with a sixty nine inch reach. So what I'm saying is like, Broner, you would say on from what we know about both fighters, from what we've seen, 
that Broner is probably the more naturally skilled fighter. Uh, but, you know, Granados has some physical... I, I think Granados has an edge in this fight. Because um, when, 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 when you break down a fight, you, you, you look at the, the mental part of the... You look at the fighters from a mental standpoint, a physical standpoint, and a skill standpoint. Now, from a mental standpoint, I'm going to put it to you like this. Adrian Broner, we know mentally he's went through his troubles. He was talking about committing suicide not too long ago. We know that uh, he has a tendency to get into trouble. He has a tendency to um, not be focused. And I and look, I don't want to. I don't want to be someone who's negative. But knowing how someone like Adrian Broner thinks, although he's sparred with Arnold and he should know what he's gonna get getting into the ring with, he could look at his record and say 19 and four. Oh, that's gonna be easy work. And he can completely overlook this guy. And he's gonna get a sell. He's gonna set himself up for a major ass whooping of the highest order. Uh, there's that. So from a mental standpoint, I don't think Adrian Broner is ready for a fight of this magnitude. Adrian Granados is definitely ready for a fight of this magnitude. A guy who has been waiting for his chance to prove himself against a big name opponent. So here it is. Um, from a physical standpoint, you know, Adrian Granados is taller than him by three inches, has a five inch reach advantage. So while Granados isn't the kind of fighter who fights tall, um, he's a guy that definitely um, has some advantage things to exploit physically. So it's going to be interesting to see if he could exploit those things and, and maybe even show a little bit of boxing because people know people just look at him as a come forward fighter. Uh, maybe in this fight he showed a little bit of that boxing ability due to the reach he has. So that will be another thing to look for. And then from a skill standpoint, you get the edge of the broader just because of what he's done in the past. But if this thing becomes an, a, a slugfest to where they're trading punches in the center of the ring, um, yes, Broner has the better power, but Granados' is conditioning, his ability to come forward, overwhelm you with punches, um, and just maintain a high level work rate throughout the course of a fight, you know, it's a bad, it's a bad match for Adrian Broner. And all you people, because I've, I've, I've got, ever since this fight's been getting made, I've had people go on old Granados videos and say that, well, Broner's gonna stop this guy, and Broner's gonna do this, and Broner's gonna do that. Broner ain't gonna do nothing, man. Broner's gonna show up to the damn fight. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. Broner will probably. I, I, I'm hoping not. I want to. I really want to see a good fight. So hopefully, if Adrian Broner sees this video or someone in this camp sees this video because I really don't know who watches these YouTube videos sometimes. But if somebody from the Broner camp or Adrian Broner himself sees this video, hopefully Adrian Broner does not come into this fight overweight because he's had a problem, a tendency to do that. He struggled to make 140 in the past. The fist fight will be at 140. So I don't think. I honestly don't think he's gonna make the weight. I think he's gonna have a hard time making the weight. Uh, and I would not be surprised if he came in overweight. If he's not focused, we see him because February, February is a long time from now. You know, there'll, there'll be plenty of time for him to go to the club, party, blow up, balloon and wait. Um, and I'm not buying the this is the new Adrian Broner rhetoric. We've been hearing that for a long time now. And you know, while while he had his chances to do that with some other cupcake opponents and get himself on track, he ain't gonna have that now. Granados, Granados is coming for blood. He's going for broke and he's going for the gusto. So if I'm Adrian Broner. I'm very, very, very uh, cautious and very serious about this training camp because if you're not. You're going to get your ass whooped. Straight up. You're going to get a West Side, Garfield, Cicero, Chicago beatdown from Adrian El Tigre Granados. But I hope he comes into shape. I know Granados will. And it's going to be a hell of a fight, man. So uh, hopefully, you know, I, I haven't heard about what this fight's going to be. I asked Adrian about it on Facebook. He told me he doesn't know yet. So when I find out where this fight's going to be, that is going to, that, that's how Brendan Taylor is going to spend his 22nd birthday. So wherever this fight is going to be, I'm going to be there. So if it's in... Vegas or Chicago or LA or New York or whatever, I am going to be at this fight to support the homie Adrian Granados. But let me let me know what you guys think. February 11th, aka B Taylor Day, to my 22nd birthday. Uh, Adrian Granados versus Adrian Broner on Showtime Boxing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Who wins this fight and why? Um, take the time to subscribe, and you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care, guys.